Hi guys, Steve, RC Steve B here. Um, obviously at the moment everybody's in lockdown, uh, and myself included, uh, due to this horrible situation with uh, COVID-19. So I thought, since now nobody's allowed to go out and do any group crawling at the moment, that I would do a little video just showing some of the things that I've done uh, whilst being on lockdown. And they include uh, building a trailer for my little pup, as you can see. I actually didn't build the chassis, I only built the box on the top. The chassis is actually from a Playmobil uh, thing, which I pinched from my grandson, uh, but then I haven't been able to see him for a month, so. Uh, I've also made a few little odds and ends, done a few little things to a couple of the trucks. Um, I don't know if you can see the Charisma over there. Um, actually, here we go. This is my Charisma SCA1E. And uh, as you can see, it's had a few little modifications done, including a new body. Because what I actually did was, some of you might have seen, I did actually have a police body on there, uh, like a um, um, backcountry American um, sheriff's truck. That is the truck. Because unfortunately, the paint didn't take, as you can see from that. Um, luckily enough, I'd actually brought this one by accident, strangely enough. It was an ordering error. Um, so I was originally going to paint, paint it orange. But then, as you can see from below, uh, I had a few issues with the orange paint. Uh, actually, the can exploded. So I decided to actually spray the outside black. And then I decided to build a truckman top for it because I so successfully built the truckman top on the Unimog uh, over there which I, I hope is in your field of view um, but we'll get a bit more into that in a minute. So, right let's make a start on looking at the Charisma SCA 1E. <coughs> now then if you notice a bit of change in the camera or the background uh, if you look behind me you'll see that I've just actually taken um, one of the guitars down and put the snake gymnasium up on the wall properly and on the top of the uh, gymnasium you'll see Bruce my corn snake having a workout we all have to do exercise in these difficult times and corn snakes are no impress no uh, exception it's sprayed completely matte black and it's sprayed on the outside of the vehicle as well because if you look very closely there you can see little tiny specks of orange where the uh, the paint can exploded this is literally one two three four five pieces of plastic card and a little bit of lexan thrown in the back for a window there is a few little details in there, which I don't know if the camera will actually focus on. Yeah, you can see a few little bits in there among the camera lens. There you go. So just to give it a little bit more detail um, and a little bit of mesh on the back window where I cut it out. But it is, it is literally so easy. People have asked me where I actually got it from. Uh, I made it myself. Literally, it took me about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, well, say about half an hour or so, plastic card and a little bit of plastic weld which is absolutely brilliant for um, gluing the two pieces of fibreboard, plasterboard together, plastic card. That's it, go on Bruce, stretch your legs, oh. stretch your body. 
So that was really all it was. It's held in by little plastic card tabs there and there, one at the back and one at the front. And then I've cut little slots into the um, body there and just slotted it in. And then inside it's actually hot glued in place. So if I do want to take it off, um, it's easy, dead easy to take off. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of video now uh, that I took in isolation. Um, the video is on my YouTube channel, the full video, and I'll put a, a link in the button which should appear somewhere up in that general direction so that you can have a link on it. Or I'll also put a link in the end of the video if you want to have a quick look. Uh, and it was the first time I actually took it out with all the lights on. This roof rack, by the way, uh, I think it was 20 quid off eBay. Um, and you can get different ones. You can either get the one which I chose with the spare wheel cover on the top, uh, spare wheel attachment on the top, should I say, or you can get the full roof rack with the four lights on the front. And uh, I just think it fits it perfectly. And I've got to say, I'm so happy with it. And compared to how it used to look, it looks spot on. So anyway, have a quick look at the video and I'll see you in a second. I hope you enjoyed that um, it was certainly good to actually get out with the trucks which obviously is something that we haven't been able to do recently um, there's a couple of other little things that I would like to show you one is I also made these wing mirrors on both sides and they were really easy to do because anybody that knows charisma knows that the wing mirrors normally sit around here and when you take them out on the trail they're the first thing that actually goes and these were the original wing mirrors and they snapped off and just had the stem left, left on there. So what I did was got a paper clip, bent the paper clip into the shape of the mirror, split the mirror down the back and pushed it onto the pin, onto the, the wire, sorry, a little bit of hot glue on there and then got some heat shrink to put over there to make it black. Two little holes pierced it put them in there that's where they come in and then just tip them over so that if they do actually get full uh, snapped off it means that they're uh, pretty easy to replace right. uh, one of the other things that I forgot to mention is uh, oh, it hasn't got a battery in it otherwise I just, oh, it has got a battery in it oh, so I can show you if I switch it on there is actually a light in the back as well so that you can actually see the um, bits in the back yeah you can't really see because of the glare from the light but it just gives it a little bit more added interest when you're actually on the scale on the trail right a couple of other things just before I go before I wrap this video up uh, that I want to show you uh, one is I also added an interior to my pup. Uh, I hope you can see that. As you know, uh, when the pup comes, when the Subaru comes, it's actually got whited out, uh, sorry, blacked out windows with the stickers on. Um, and it's all painted white on the inside. Again, just a little bit of plastic card on the inside, a uh, couple of miniature uh, military figures, and um, a small plastic ring cut in half for a steering wheel. But again, it adds it that little bit more realism. Uh, I've also um, worked on a couple of my trailers. Uh, if you've seen my videos, you know that I've got two trailers. Um, one that actually contain, that can carry a vehicle, but that's been off the road for quite a while, this one. Because 
I broke the axles on it. So what I did was I decided to see if I could make another axle. So what I actually did was this part here is a chassis rail, a plastic chassis rail from off my old HGP402, uh, which I got from Banggood. Um, it was my very, very first crawler. And these two bits are the uh, linkage from that vehicle as well. I've cut it down to size. And then these two wheel hubs are from spares that I had from my Tamiya, one of my Tamiya vehicles. Um, again, locked in the wheel hubs on there. These are the original tyres actually from the uh, P402. Uh, a bit um, blingy but they're all right on the trailer and they've got good tyres on as well which I like and then uh, just bolted that to the bottom of the trailer attached the linkage to there to put it in there so that I could then line the wheels up and what do you know Bob's your uncle you've got a working trailer and the other one that I made was this one from the back of my old Toyota LC70, uh, which Chris Jones from the Urban Monkeys, he's had the front end of that and he's putting it on a 6x6, but the back end was quite, the dam quite badly damaged where I'd had to cut it to put the axles in when I had it on my SCX10, so I didn't really want to give him that because it was a bit of a mess. Um, but I decided again to turn it into a trailer. And again, I'll show you the axle that I used for that one, which is different to the one that's on the uh, the actual car trailer. This one, as you can see, it's got a proper axle on it. And again, this is the axle from my HGP402, which I've cut down. I did a couple of spacers there just to get it in the right position where the wheels are concerned. And then just mounted it on a couple of shock towers that I've put onto some rails. Uh, I think these are used for in kitchen fitting. I'm not sure, or showers or something like that, but they're aluminium. Um, and I got these from a, a DIY store. And then I've added some lights to it. Uh, two red ones on the back and two blue ones on the front for when I'm towing on the trails at night time, because I do like my night time runs. Spare tyre on the front, false bed on the back, just a bit of plastic. It's an old, um, one of those two of those old tubs that you get when you order fast food um, a fake jest that was made for me by my brother-in-law uh, MG Makes um, and then just a couple of other interiors in there the other thing that I will mention is the stickers that are on here uh, if you look at the stickers and there is also there's a matching Nightcrawler sticker there which is also the sticker that's on the side of the uh, Charisma and also on the back of the Unimog you can see there once again they were homemade um, I printed them off on normal printer paper on my printer um, and then once they'd been cut out I covered them in st standard sellotape just to waterproof them making sure that the sellotape overlapped at the back and then use some double-sided tape, uh, 3M double-sided tape, so it's, it's quite good stuff, to actually stick it onto the vehicles. So hopefully, when these are on the trail and they get wet, the ink shouldn't run. So, that's about it. Um, the only thing that's left for me to say is I hope everybody is keeping well. Uh, my love and best wishes goes out to everybody out there that's suffering at the moment. Um, I, I'm sure we'll all come through it. Unfortunately, some are going to come through it with smaller families than they had before this all started. Um, and to those, I actually send out my best wishes um, and all my thoughts with you and your family at this time. Please remember, heed the advice that people are giving you. Stay in. Stay in stay safe and save lives and until we actually normal services resumed as soon as possible and we can all get out there into the woods into the fields into the quarries everybody stay safe and we'll see you soon watch what you're doing guys see you later